Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Levine Emlani, and it is my absolute pleasure and honor to be speaking to you all today. Today, I want to talk about how we can connect to the future of work and what it means to connect to the future of work. Before I go into that, I want to thank everyone at the TED team for hosting such a wonderful event. Countless hours have gone into this, and it's fantastic what they've done. I hope you're all enjoying it. So, how many of you have any clue what you want to do in your careers? Most of you are young people at this university. Please raise your hands if you have a definitive idea of what you want to achieve in your life. Please, now. Okay. So pretty much everyone at your age has absolutely no idea what they want to do, which is fine, because a few years ago, that was me. Uh, I'd grown up in Hong Kong, and I had connected myself to this idea of becoming an investment banker. Um, all my life, all I wanted to do was connect to this idea of an occupation, which meant you follow a certain route. You follow a route of wanting to go down certain grades, certain internships, certain university track record. And lo and behold, if you follow that track, exactly like the education systems in Hong Kong train us and teach us to do, you get to a place uh, that you're in an occupation, which is what we're trained to do. This is how the future, or excuse me, this is how the work has been for many, many generations before us. But that is changing very, very fast as what we call artificial intelligence, automation, quantum computing, all these technological forces are coming. It's preparing us for a brand new world. So as I was going down this track of figuring out what I wanted to do, I ended up at this job. And while I had finally connected to an occupation that I had dreamt of for many, many years, I felt very disconnected to myself. I didn't feel like I was living a life that was true to myself. I didn't feel that I was doing the most audacious possible thing I could do with my life. Um, and that's a problem. If you don't feel like you can come in every day and contribute to the best you can to humanity, if you come in every day and just live the life of a slog, just going into work and leaving, you're gonna feel uh, very disconnected. You're not gonna live the life of adventure audaciousness. So a few years ago, I had a chance to quit that job. And I didn't really know what was going through my head. So one of the most logical things that went through my head at the time was to go buy a one-way ticket to Peru and pack everything. And I'm in South America. I'd never even been there. I don't know anyone. Um, but I wanted to challenge myself for the next six months to try and connect to who I was, because all these years I was connecting to what I was supposed to be. And as I was going to this adventurous sabbatical all over the world, whether it was Peru or Bolivia or Bosnia or Jordan or Iran or Namibia or wherever you have it, you will find that in every part of the world, people, young people just like you are being fed into the system of we have to do this, we have to go down this track, we have to become X, Y, Z, whether it's accountant, banker, doctor, whatever it is. How many of you feel like that right now? Could I please get a raise of hands? Okay, so everyone is told a certain system, a certain ideological belief to a what. Um, and essentially what happens is many of these young people don't really understand what it is that they want on the inside, what makes them feel really excited to come in every day and live a life of work and adventure and audaciousness. So I challenged myself to try and follow that by going to all these countries. And I realized one very powerful thing. And that is that education is the single greatest driver for human empowerment and for economic empowerment. That means that if people have access to education, doesn't matter if you're a waiter, doesn't matter if you're making $7 a day, doesn't matter if you're in a third world country or in a first world country, if you have access to high quality education, you're going to find one direction and that is going forward. So education is something that I really felt connected to. It wasn't an idea of connecting to an occupation as much as I wanted to connect to this idea of giving back to people and giving opportunity to people. And when it really started to become very clear for me that I'd spent all these years growing up being so close to an idea as opposed to who I wanted to become, what values I wanted to stand for, was having a chance to build a school in Africa. Uh, this has been probably the most meaningful thing I'd ever done in my entire life, uh, to go and build a school for a 1,000 students who could have free access to education. So these people are poor, it's Namibia, and they're given a chance to basically enter the new world, basically enter 
the new economy because of education. That is so, so powerful, not just because their generation is alleviating themselves from poverty and entering a new stage of their lives, but the generation after and the generation after is being uh, enabled by education. And when you can enable one generation, you can enable an entire community, and that is very, very powerful because of education. So after I had this chance to disconnect from doing just what was told to me of the system, I came back to Hong Kong, and I felt very let down. Our education systems were very behind. Pretty much everyone here is thinking about their laundry and their weekends, and they're not thinking about the future. They're not thinking about self-driving cars. They're not thinking about automation. They're not thinking about synthetic biology, computational neuroscience. All these things sound very uh, advanced, like it's going to happen in 5, 10, 50 years. Guess what? It's happening right now. As we speak, four forces are coming together. Algorithms, artificial intelligence, computational power, and vast amounts of data on all of your devices on you. These four forces are going to create massive economic disruption for which governments and enterprises and communities at large are not prepared for. Education systems are not prepared for. We're not prepared for. We're so geared to thinking about what we have today in front of us that we're not thinking about how we should prepare ourselves for the future. And that is a very big problem, especially in this part of the world. So I had a chance to build this company called Accelerate with that sole mission of trying to prepare people just like yourself for the future. Doesn't matter if you are an accountant, doesn't matter if you are a banker, doesn't matter if whatever, you know, whatever field you are in. But we wanted to give these people housewife, doesn't matter who you are, construction worker, doesn't matter who you are, bus driver, doesn't matter who you are. We want to get every single smart person that we can find and give them this opportunity to access high quality, advanced education, and for them to basically recharge themselves and prepare themselves for the future. Disconnect yourself from a job, from what the system tells you, and connect yourself to something that is filled with abundance by giving yourself the ability to have technology skills. And the result was phenomenal. We've seen people double, triple their income, and we've seen them go and find opportunities and careers that are filled with meaning and connection by using technology as an enabler to go find something that's very, very audacious. And this is happening with thousands of people right now. So it's something that I feel very, very excited and very passionate about. And it's very different because a couple of years ago, it was a job. And today, it's something of who I want to be. And that is something I really want to pass on to all of you is that we have to stop connecting to the what and we have to start connecting to the who. Who do we want to be and what values matter to us? Because ultimately, when all the jobs that we're being trained for right now in our current education systems are being automated, we're going to have to reinvent ourselves at a massive scale. All the time you're preparing for exams, all the time you spent preparing for that career you have in mind today, well, that career probably won't exist in five to 10 years. And so what are we going to do? We're going to have to go back from connecting to what it is we wanted to be and connect to what it is that we care about. Missions, visions, statements, certain causes, whether it's healthcare and helping more people get access to healthcare, whether it's education like myself, whether it's um, working on, on global warming or the other speaker who's working on environmental protection. When you can connect yourself to an idea or a mission, that will make you feel way more alive throughout your career no matter what it is you're doing, than any job ever will. And I want to challenge you to do that. So some of the things that I really want to impart in the last few minutes that I have are if you're going to find that challenge within you to try and disconnect from what society expects of you, what your parents expect of you, what the education system expects of you, what grades expect of you, and try and connect to a cause or a mission or values, uh, I really invite you to go deep into yourself and ask yourself, what is the most audacious thing that you can connect to? Do not stop at mediocrity. Connect to something ambitious. Connect to something that scares you. And you will find 
somehow a path over there. Your thoughts will become into the reality. It's really powerful if you can choose to connect yourself to that, if you can isolate what everyone is telling you and ask yourself, what do you want to do? And the second thing that's also equally as important is to see technology and all these forces that are coming and the 800 million jobs that are going to be wiped out in the next 10 to 15 years as an opportunity, not a threat. Everyone today sees it as a threat, but it is an opportunity to reinvent yourself. And if you have the ability to learn very, very powerful technologies, what are you going to do with it? What can you do by learning artificial intelligence? And if you're going to be a radiologist one day, and that job doesn't exist, what can you do so that you can superimpose your skills and work with artificial intelligence, not against it, so that you can have an even greater impact? And impact is very important, which leads me to my last point. If you can find yourself connecting to who you want to be, what better way than to connect it to all the problems and, and all the challenges that the world is facing and seeing that if you have access to technology skills and seeing if you have access to that new mindset of audaciousness, connecting the two together to try and build something great, build something that allows you to impact far, far more people. And so as these jobs get replaced, as we get automated, as you try and upgrade yourselves, you have to really adopt one thing and I believe that is to disconnect yourself from this idea that your education is ending the day you graduate. If you're a fourth year or a third year about to graduate, your education is only just beginning. But it has nothing to do with your grades or how fast you can pass an exam or how much you can cram in today's lecture, unfortunately. It just doesn't work. It's obsolete. The system is broken. When you get into the workforce, you're going to have to give yourself a new education and a new mindset where every day you can ask yourself, what can I learn today as technology comes in? What can I do to push myself forward? And only then you'll find yourself becoming successful because you're going to have to reinvent yourself over and over. Gone are the days where you can start in one career and spend the next 35 years in that career doing the same thing. In the future, we're going to have to connect to an idea of being uncomfortable all the time. We're going to have to connect with being at our feet, learning as fast as we can, because technology is going to push us there. And we can either see that as a threat or as an opportunity. With that, I want to thank TEDx again for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I invite you to connect to who you want to be and disconnect from what you want to be. Thank you so much.